So data can be used to make buildings smarter um, because what we're trying to do is measure how people use buildings, what they do, when they do it, how they do it. And the whole idea of a smart environment is it's more convenient, more efficient, uh, more enjoyable for the consumer of that space. So data can help track people's movements, track what they do, when they do it, how they do it. And using that data, we can plan our space, plan the services that we want to offer to people within that space so much better. Okay, data to be monetized. So far we've looked at data as a way to improve services and improve space and improve the environment. Um, data measures what people do, what products they consume, how they do it, when they do it. Um, and that is intensely valuable to other providers of services and products. So it can be monetized in that you can sell the data uh, and, and what people are doing to other products of providers. The danger, I think, is that people are very wary about the data around their personal movements, their business movements. So we need to be very careful. But data should be treated as an asset and not as a risk. And at the moment, it's treated as a risk, and that's missing an opportunity. At, at the moment, bricks and mortar and the income streams just from the bricks and mortar are way more valuable. Um, but in future, as services grow and services become more important than bricks and mortar itself, the data which supports what services you offer will become way more valuable. Um, the biggest challenges um, really are around privacy and people's um, attitude to you sharing the data around their movements and what they do. Um, but at the moment we treat it really as a risk and as soon as you start treating it as an asset and thinking about what you can do with that data within the regulatory framework, you can start to see opportunities for um, monetizing data and creating revenue streams. The consumer is absolutely key um, to driving smarter environments, um, smarter buildings. At the moment we're at a crossroads. Um, smart environments are driven by central government, planning, local government. Um, but we've seen from our future living research that millennials as a consumer group are very, very demanding of space. And we need to make that move from a centrally driven tick box exercise to a consumer driven exercise. Governments are doing really what they can. They can help with funding because the real issue at the moment is we've got a centralized local government planning based built environment and we're moving towards a consumer-based built environment. But the, the issue is the funding to move from government to citizen, and we need brave funders. So maybe the government can help by supporting those funders.